The town of Crewe was made by the railways for generations. They built the trains and made the connections. It was also supposed to be a staging post in the future of rail. But those who banked on HS2 reaching Crewe and points north fear those plans are about to be derailed. The signals from government that they'd rather save billions than deliver on what they've promised for more than a decade. That economic promise was the talk of the business community, what it meant for companies like Rahim's office supplies firm. New business customers, new opportunities, all of the new investment. What if it is to be taken away? Talking to my peers, I think there'd be a lot of disappointment. It's the morale as well, isn't it? It demoralises you, you know. You're looking at the future to see, you know, how, where you're going to invest, which areas you're going to move forward in. And HS2 was hoped you're going to bring the investment into crew. Well, is that going to happen now? Only last month, the rail minister was here in Crewe talking about HS2 and promising transformational regeneration. New jobs, new houses, new business opportunities to be seized, he said. What then would the scrapping of this leg of HS2 mean, not only for Crewe, but towns and cities across this region? Those charged with making the North super-connected and globally competitive are clear on what it would mean. This hiatus in the last few days will have deterred investment into the north of England. And if you're making the decision to locate in a city like Manchester, not having the certainty that government will keep its promises is a significant factor. Many businesses have already invested heavily in the northwest in expectation that HS2 is going to arrive. You take that investment away, and not only will you deter future investment, but you've also broken trust and faith. And there is no sign of any alternative plan leaving a region that was promised levelling up by the government, wondering where they go from here. Greg Milam, Sky News, Crew.